let's go heads up with the best action cameras that you can get right now. This is gonna be fun. Welcome back everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to KNY. Today we're going to be doing another video on action cameras. To my right, we got the Insta360 Go. On my left, we got the GoPro Hero 10. Let's get into this comparison and let's do a showdown for the best action compact camera money can buy who do you think is gonna win welcome back everybody and here we go my name is Camille welcome back to the channel make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button before you guys do anything and today we're going to be doing a showdown a complete comparison between the Insta360 GO 2 and the GoPro Hero 10. So let's get right into a little bit of action. All right, where do I start? Where do I begin? Let me tell you a little bit of a story about these two cameras. We ordered this Insta360 Go 2 because we thought that it was going to be the best suited camera for us to take on our trip to Cancun, Mexico. If you guys haven't seen that video, it's going to be in one of these two corners up above. We'll insert that. Unfortunately, because there was some kind of holidays in China, we didn't know that we were going to get this shipped and it did come the last day before we were leaving. And before that, we wanted to make sure that we had an action camera to test out during our trip to Mexico. We rushed the gun and we got the GoPro Hero 10, which actually turned out to be a great mistake. We're going to be talking about these two. What are the good? What are the bad? What are the unusable? And we're going to be going head to head comparing these two action cameras. First, Let's get into the price. Insta360 GO 2 definitely comes in cheaper. This came to, I believe, $400 Canadian, $300 American, and it did come in with a lot more accessories. The GoPro Hero 10 coming in at, I believe, around $650 Canadian before tax, so around $700 and I believe 550 American. Insta360 comes with a box. The extra stuff that came with it are these three mounts. In terms of price and the amount of things you get, in theory, the Insta360 would be your best choice as a consumer. Which one is more affordable? Where do you get the more bang for its buck? This Insta360 had me pleasantly surprised until we started to use it. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. The GoPro 10, it does come with this cool little pouch that you can throw everything inside. And actually, we put all the accessories for the Insta Go into this guy. We took this to Mexico and it became an awesome carrying case for that. What is more affordable right off the bat? Insta360, what does it come with? Well, it comes with this cool little camera. At the beginning, when you look at something like this and you look at all the commercials made for this camera, it is kind of cool. The case itself is pretty much the same size as the GoPro. What's really interesting is you take out this out of the case and it is so tiny and so portable and just so small. This case is like a mini tripod and cool. Inside this box, we have the case, 
we have this little cool magnet pendant. Again, one of the coolest things about the Insta360 Go is the amount of mounts that you get and the ease of use when it comes into popping these mounts on. Another mount that came inside is going to be this hat mount. Really cool, comes in handy. We got the pendant mount on the chest. We got the hat mount for those POV shots and then this swivel mount, which is the last mount that typically it comes with, and it's a little sticky. So you stick this on the wall, you can put it anywhere practically because it sticks to glass, it sticks to brick, it sticks to cement. So cool, we're gonna take this camera out, bam! The mount's super easy because they're magnetic. So the ease of use right off the bat was something so interesting and something so fun and innovative. Insta360, more affordable, more mounts, something that's definitely lacking with the GoPro Hero 10, that it only comes standard with one mount, one screw. It does make it a little bit more expensive because you do have to add on some more accessories to be able to use the GoPro Hero 10 the same way that you have to use the Insta360 GO 2. Let's talk about image quality. Resolution in this camera is not up to par with this camera. After looking at the footage, comparing the footage, which I'll show you guys a comparison of footage with between these two cameras, that the GoPro is definitely much better in terms of that 5.3K footage. I was not so pleased about the quality of the picture and the videos that came out of this, although this did have a little bit of a better low light performance. It makes it a little bit harder to shoot in ProRes because you have to take this into another software to get that vertical or horizontal image, which straight out of the GoPro, you just flip it vertically, it records vertically, you flip it horizontally, it's gonna record horizontally. I thought that this would be a lot easier to get into the software and to flip it. I still haven't figured out how to use that. I'm going to put this GoPro for the win when it comes to the different modes and obviously the quality of picture. You cannot beat that 5.3K resolution, but even when you go down to 4K at 120 frames per second. When you're shooting with this camera, it goes to HD. When you're shooting into higher frames to get that slow motion. What is the Insta360 better at? What is this camera's main purpose? Is probably going to be POV shots. Personal point of view. With the different mounts, the hat mount, the chest magnet mount. This action camera is excellent. We took this into the airport, we put it onto a mount, and we just took it around the, the airplane, boarding the plane. And it did come in handy inside the bus, inside a car. This is really cool when it comes to POV shots. Definitely something that is much better, it's much more compact than the GoPro. It takes a lot more time to set up the same shots in the GoPro with some kind of chest mount or helmet mount or magnet mount. There's a lot of examples that I'll insert that this is so cool to get different point of view shots. So small, magnetic, comes in a small case. If you need to use it for short periods of time, first use, Yes, I was impressed. I even took it to the gym. I was so excited about it. It was so fun to use, so funky to have in the car, POV shots, all of that stuff. But it is a little bit scary. It doesn't feel so durable as the GoPro Hero 10. Next point, let's get talking about ease of use. This is one of the big things that the GoPro Hero 10 has an advantage over this camera. The app, so much easier to download it. You charge the battery, you put in a memory card, and you're good to go. Downloading the app, 
Bluetooth syncs it right away. Within minutes, you're ready to start using your GoPro. Insta360, well, because it's a newer company, not so user-friendly, the app was a little bit harder to get around. Connection time between the Bluetooth sometimes doesn't read into the app, which makes the app or your phone almost practically unusable. When you do use the app through the phone, you can see on your screen what the Insta360 is recording. You can record there, which you cannot do on the GoPro, but sometimes you cannot access the app if you don't have Wi-Fi, if you don't have proper Bluetooth connection, which makes it unusable. I also found that the Insta360, when you shoot in pro mode, which is supposed to be one of the modes that has the higher quality. You have to take into another software. I haven't figured that out yet. Ease of use definitely goes to the GoPro, hands down. The app works so quickly. You pop in a, a memory card, you have your batteries, you can buy external batteries that you can swamp at any time. Let's talk about battery life since we're already on the topic. Well, First of all, you can change the battery. You can have a couple of them. You pop them in. It is an action camera. You're not going to be using this for long periods of time, both cameras, but you can change the battery. Here, you have to charge this with a USB-C cord. And then once it comes out of that holder or the charging case, as we call it, this battery drains so quickly. You constantly have to put it back into the case to charge but that also takes too long. Definitely a downside to this Insta360 is the battery life that it made us lose so many shots in Cancun and in Mexico on our trip that we virtually resorted to using to the GoPro. Now this case, once it gets connected, there's two buttons, a record button and an option to switch different modes, different menus. And you do press the button and it gets you to different modes. We have on the GoPro, obviously, a touch screen. You swipe it, you go to different modes. So this is a lot quicker than just a simple button to record and off. I mentioned that you can use the Insta360 app which is user friendly when it comes to recording. You can see what the camera is recording. You can set up a shot. Easy to mount this. Definitely something that is a big plus with this is the amount of mounts and you can put this on any magnet surface. Makes it super easy to mount and super easy to place. So let's wrap this up. And let's conclude this video because I'm just rambling on right now. This is perfect for POV. Is it harder to use? Yes. Is the battery life not so good? Yes. Is it a fun little camera that's really compact? Yes. Does it have a lot of mounts? Thumbs up. Now let's talk about this GoPro. This definitely is the winner because quality is key. You wanna have the best quality camera on you and something that is reliable, something that is durable, something that is easy to use without running out of battery, without losing shots because you don't know if it's recording or not. This GoPro, easy to turn on, easy to activate, easy to switch in batteries, unlimited memory cards as long as you have a big enough memory card for this. You do need to have extra money because this is the more expensive version of these two cameras. It does cost more. You need more accessories. I do recommend there's a magnet mount to that snap-on mount. I'm going to link in the description below some extra things that I'll be picking up. You do need to have a tripod. This comes already with kind of like a selfie stick or you can set it down with a tripod. So definitely Insta360 is on the right way, but they're not there yet. With better battery life, with maybe some kind of external memory cards, with better quality, at least 4K image, 
better options with a screen to go through all of the modes, Insta360 will eventually get it right. But right now, at the moment, the GoPro Hero 10 definitely is the superior camera. It does cost more. You do need to spend more money on accessories. But today, and for the trip that we had in Mexico, this definitely is the winner. All right, guys, so there you go. Thank you guys for sticking in to the whole video. Thank you so much for watching our channel. This is just a little bit of some equipment that we use, that we've tried, that we wanna share with you guys. We'll be back with some more videos and we'll be back with some more vlogs. My beautiful girlfriend, Yulia, says she loves you all. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Greatly appreciated. We love all of our subscribers and we'll be back with more videos. We'll be back with more vlogs. Stay humble and kind and make sure that you guys have fun with any equipment that you're using and we'll see you guys soon. Take care, peace out and later.